how to flatten wood on a CNC router to make a clock blank. I have had some clock blanks for several years laying around. They were cut with a chainsaw, so they're not at all uniform. And I'm going to show how I flatten them out to make them into clock material. In my case, the blank was just ever so slightly larger than a letter-sized piece of paper. Since what you really need is the outline, I use this simple trick with a compass to get that outline onto paper. I set the compass at two inches and simply trace as best I can around the blank. Now this accuracy is important for two reasons. Obviously you don't want to get into your hold downs, but you also want to make sure that you can use this outline in subsequent steps. Time spent here getting good accuracy is important and you'll see in a moment how it pays off. You just need to remember this two inches that my outline is going to be two inches smaller than my blank when I get it in my program. You may simply be able to lay a piece of paper over it and trace it. And here's what it looks like when I get it into my CAM program. Sometime after some trial and error and a little tweaking of the outline, here I'm making an air cut with a quarter inch wooden doll to show myself how accurate I am and what I'm going to be cutting. Here's where your quadrant marks can be a big help. If you're not exactly tracing the outline, they can help you determine where you need to move your line. Sometimes the bark can be problematic, so I like to cut around it first. It serves two purposes. It keeps it from breaking loose when you cut across it, and it also tells you how deep you're going to have to be to cut the whole blank. We're in pretty good shape by now, so it looks like we're ready to cut. For that reason, I chose a linear pattern of cutting with a relatively small cutter. The blank looked like when I was done making those linear cuts. Now I was using a 5 8 cutter and a good sharp cutter and I still was only taking about 20 thousandths on a pass off. In hardwood these cuts can be difficult to make. If you hear a change in tone your hold downs may have gotten loose from the vibration. You are making a lot of interrupted cuts across these chainsaw marks so caution is necessary and warranted. Here's what the cam program looked like with those linear cuts. And now you can see why the outline accuracy is important because you certainly wouldn't want your cutters into your hold down. For my final cuts I switched over to a pocket type pattern and about five thousandths at a time to cut to see how it cleaned up. One of the reasons I don't like to start with the pocket cut is you can tend to burn the material if you don't have your feed and speed just right. It is much better to use it as a final light cut. Somewhere between 5 to 15 thousandths should clean this up completely and you'll be left with almost a polished face providing your table is flat and your router is square to your table. And this type of project will certainly show whether that's true or not. A little sanding with say 150 and then 220 grit paper should really finish this out nice. This is just one method to produce a beautiful product from a very rough cut piece of lumber, but I'd love to hear your comments or thoughts or improvements. And you can see how this is going to make a beautiful clock. I like these that are a little bit out of round because I'm able to take the clock on the one side and then etch a name or a birth date or something else in the other part that the clock doesn't go around. I do these for my grandchildren. So now that you have the hard side done, you can flip this over, reverse your outline, realign your, pl your blank, and should be able to do the second side much easier. Happy flattening!